welcome hi welcome back today on caitlin's slice of life we are going multicultural i'm super excited okay we are doing a complete face in filipino made and owned makeup as you can see here, I have a full face on and I'm going to roll the tape and show you exactly how everything performs, give you my thoughts. There are definitely some hits and there are definitely some things that were just okay or things that just weren't for me. But I want to personally thank my good friend Re from the channel Re Ray of Sunshine and she is in collaboration with me. I'm going to put this little overlay together for you. She is in collaboration with me today. Uh, she actually is Filipino and just spent six weeks this past summer in the Philippines and bought all this makeup that you see in this video today. And the um, and she's giving her opinion, I'm giving my opinion, which I'm kind of interested to have tried this. I've never tried makeup that was actually made people with a different ethnicity than mine. So it was very interesting to play on their websites, do some research. I definitely will include all the pricing and um, any information I was able to get online. It was limited, definitely limited. My computer kept trying to block me <laughs> because I'm never on Filipino websites. Yeah. All the links for all the products are below. I'm going to apologize now for my children because apparently they're all on the crack today. I took them to a Halloween parade last night and the excitement just hasn't stopped yet. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you all this makeup. But before we get into that, I do want to say also, please go back and check out my giveaway video. I will be posting it in the con or down below in the description box and I will also post it at the end of this video so you can watch this video and then go ahead and click on that next and in that video i am giving away a whole bunch of makeup brand new and uh all the rules and everything are in that video so definitely make sure that you go on and check it out it runs until october 31st so there's still time to enter and then there's another one starting on november 1st so you want to make sure you are here for the season of giving please give this video a thumbs up i hope that you subscribe to my channel because it's fun here Clearly, we're doing some awesome things, don't you think? Um, let me know what you think in below in the comment section. I love talking to you guys, and I'm gonna quit babbling now and go and put my children to bed because <sighs> there is one more thing that I wanted to say. Okay, so everything that I use on my face in this video is Filipino made and owned makeup. Up until recently, the only makeup that you could get in the Philippines was what they call imported makeup. MAC, Urban Decay, things like that. But the Filipino nation decided like, hey, we can make our own makeup, we can do our own thing, and then we can have domestic makeup instead of imported makeup. So that is where all this makeup comes from and how it all came to be. So stick, stick around, check it out. Okay, so I have no idea how this is gonna go. I have notes. I actually wrote my notes in my little Dollar Tree pad and I know it's Christmas, but that's like my dog. Somebody took pictures of my dog and put them on this notepad and I did not get any like kickback for that whatsoever. No, just kidding, but no, that literally looks just like my dog. So I bought like five or six of these last year at the Dollar Tree. So I have all my notes. I spent a lot of time on the website, spent a lot of time talking with Ree. That way I had a really clear understanding about what I was getting into. So the first product that she sent me is by a company called Pop Studio. And this is called the Intro Moisturizing Primer. And according to the website, it says that it's a primer for all. It moisturizes, it has slight color correction, erases signs of fatigue and aging. Like, yes, ma'am, I need to bathe myself in this because I'm always fatigued and I'm definitely aging. And it allows your makeup to go on smoothly, last longer, and this is the only primer your skin needs according to their website. So I did find an article um, written by a Filipino, um beauty blogger and i read that too and she had pretty good things to say about it this is 199 pesos which translates roughly to three dollars and 98 cents in us dollars so um and if i'm saying the money wrong i apologize but 199 pesos i don't know if they say 199 pesos pesos 199 i'm not really sure how they articulate money like we don't say three dollars and 98 cents us dollars we just say three dollars and 98 cents I don't know, but I'm gonna go ahead and try this first. The only thing that I have on my face, let me just preface this, I just washed it so that it was nice and fresh for this. I actually put on the Glow Recipe um, Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. I actually just got this. This was actually in my mother's boxy charm, but she hated it. She couldn't stand the smell, so I have this on. So I've been using it for a couple days and so far, so good. Um, let's go ahead and get into this primer. It looks 
like foundation, actually. I'm really excited to get into this and see what it's gonna do. Okay, ready? Okay, so that primer went on actually really nicely. It has a very light eye, um, very light, almost foundation-like smell, which is not nothing that I would have an issue with. And I don't see major color correcting. I have a lot of like redness, splotchiness. I have like a little age guy, he's coming through there. So, you know, I've got discoloration on my skin. Um, it doesn't look, it looks like it filled in my pores minimally. Uh, it definitely left behind like tacky. So, which is not, you know, that's a good thing for a primer. But I will say that when I was concerned about putting on too much moisturizer only because I have a stick foundation that I'm going to be trying today. And I didn't want to put on too much moisturizer because what happens is if I put too much moisture and hydration into my skin before I go in with something like a stick foundation and that stick foundation is all over the place. I only did the serum so I was feeling a little bit dehydrated but now that I've put this primer on I do not feel the dehydration which is actually really good. So the next product that I'm going to go ahead and use which I don't know if this is going to be my shade but we're going to do we're doing it. We're, we're fully committed to this. So this is the EB um which stands for Ever Bilena. I am assuming it's Bilena and not Bilena. Um, and I could be wrong, but I remember learning in class, like any language, foreign language, pronounces their vowels A, uh, A, E for I, O, U, U. So that would mean Bilena. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but that's what we're gonna go with is Be Lena. So the Ever Be Lena Studio Finish Thick Foundation comes in only three shades and they are all three light shades. So knowing a little bit about the Filipino culture, they view very fair skin as beautiful. So they do not cater to deeper skin tones. Uh, that's just a cultural thing. Um, and this is a stick foundation. And when I was reading all about it, I was a little confused. I, it says that it has a matte finish, which for a stick foundation is a bit strange to have a matte finish. Uh, buildable coverage, that seems normal, keeps face hydrated and glowing. So I'm really having a hard time understanding. Are we matte finish? a satin finish, a dewy finish, I'm not really sure. So I'm interested to see what comes of this. And this has an adorable like little packaging here. Um, and I, I said I have the shade Cream. Looks like this, it's just a standard stick foundation. So what I do know about stick foundations is that you have to go in in sections. That's what I've always found with different stick foundations. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Ooh, it's a little dark, I don't know. I am using a dampened Real Techniques Beauty Sponge to do this. Um, I'm gonna try a sponge for a few minutes and then if that doesn't seem to be going my way, I will switch to a brush. It is looking more like a matte finish it's um a little bit harder to move around which to me is a relief only because i don't want something that is going to um slip and slide all over the place that's kind of a huge deal breaker for me but because it's a, it's so matte it's literally like sticking kind of where I put it. So I really have to work it with the sponge to get it into the skin. And it's not really giving me oodles of coverage. And unless I really get in there and press it in, it has a tendency to just sit right on top of the skin, which could just be because it's not the right shade. So you will find like if you try to put a shade of foundation that isn't right, whether it's too dark or too fair, it'll look like it's just sitting on top of the skin because it's not gonna blend in with the pigments of your skin. So it's gonna, it is gonna look like it's just sitting there because it is kind of just sitting there. Um, that blended into the forehead pretty nice though. Although it is getting right into my 
frown lines the way I hate with stick fix stick foundations. I don't typically use stick foundations. They typically are not my jam. I am seeing some shine and I would not, it's kind of like a matte satin finish hybrid, I guess. It's kind of what I'm seeing. And the shade isn't too far off, which is nice. I'm not gonna walk around looking kind of, kind of weird today. Although I will say the more I mess with it, the more it's blending right off my face. It really gave me a light coverage. Like my skin is peeking through, which I don't necessarily hate. It's not necessarily a bad thing for me. Like I'm just doing light little taps because I don't want to add too much product and then have it slipping and going everywhere. And this is, like I said, a first impression. I don't really know what's gonna happen. This side we're gonna do with a brush. I'm gonna kind of come in here a little bit close and let you have a look. I am not seeing brush strokes from using the brush. It did not seem to move the product around. It blended it. I actually think I prefer the brush side over the sponge side. And I feel like the brush side is a little more matte than the sponge side, so which is kind of interesting. Uh, not overly, like not ridiculously so, but just it's interesting. Um, it is feeling like foundation on my skin. I feel like it feels like foundation. It doesn't feel heavy. It is a lighter coverage. I would say light to medium. Definitely not full on medium, just light to medium. I think it gave me a very nice wash. The shade actually wasn't too bad once I blended it in. I did, could go in with another layer, but I'm not going to do that. It just isn't what I would typically do for starters. And you know that whenever I test makeup on this channel, I always do what I would do as I am putting this on. I'm not going to do something abnormal for me for this because then that defeats the whole purpose of giving an honest review because I would, if I do something I'm not normally going to do, it's not going to give you my true opinion. So I'm not the type that's going, oh my gosh, I can see my age spot. I can see my freckle. I can see whatever. It's here. This is my face. If you don't like my face, don't look at it kind of my attitude so I definitely do like this actually a lot and the pricing for that is 230 pesos or four dollars and sixty cents US dollars <laughs> that's such a steal like such a steal um yeah so I do not have any powder for this but we are gonna go into the next product which is by a brand called Nishido. This is the Nishido Serum Gel Concealer or HD Serum Gel Concealer. I could not find this online. I could not even find this on her receipt. I'm not really sure. The Nishido brand seems to be a little bit more high-end, a little bit more expensive. So I'm interested to see this because a serum gel concealer, um, I'm interested to see how this is going to sit in my face. Again, this could be completely the wrong shade, um, but I don't care. It's not a very big bottle, um, and this is the applicator here, kind of your standard like little spongy applicator. I'm not gonna go ham because I don't typically wear concealer. Wow. Yeah, I don't typically wear concealer, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a whirl for the sake of the video. I do not, when I do conceal, I do not like that's even more than I normally do. I do not do both. I do not apply the concealer everywhere and then go in and blend. No. Uh, it's been my experience in the past that concealers tend to, um, they tend to no. dry quickly or set quickly. So I like to be able to move my product once I put it on my face. So I do one at a time. Oh. It definitely brightened. It definitely gave a little coverage. It's not doing any of coverage, my son. <laughs> it's not doing any of the weird things that concealers typically do on me right off the bat. It is a little bit sticky. 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 <laughs> it needs to be set. Uh, but let's, yes, shh, sticky. Let's do the other eye here. Okay. Not incredible amounts of coverage. Again, did brighten, but it didn't, 
it just didn't give me tons of coverage, which is okay because honestly, that's kind of what I would prefer in a concealer anyways. Because like I said, I don't typically wear it. And when I do, I use it for brightening purposes. So I am done with this. I'm going to apply my war paint down the middle of my nose. I'm going to blend this in for a little brightening effect for the sake of this video. I will say it blends like a dream. Now, I don't know if it's blending away completely because I'm not overly well versed in concealer. I mean, it's there. It is kind of caking more like in this area. It definitely gave me some coverage, but I feel like it's a little on the cakey side. And that could be me reading a little too much into it because I don't typically wear it but I'm gonna try to cover up some of this redness in my nose because the foundation just didn't quite cut it. And I'm just blending a little more just to make sure I don't have any edges. You can tell by looking at it, and now that the foundation is starting to settle on my face, it's already kind of starting to break apart a little bit, which is kind of why I avoid stick foundations. It necessarily isn't the product. It's definitely a me thing. It tends to start to break apart kind of look like it's just sitting there. I'm gonna take the clean end of my sponge that I haven't been putting the product on and I'm just gonna kinda of go for a little bit of excess just to kind of make sure we're really well stamped in and place. Cut the cake face a little bit. Okay, so here we are with both concealer and foundation. I think it looks pretty good. It's pretty decent. Um, I would not have purchased these products for myself. These are not my products, but I feel like these definitely are not bad. And for the price point, I feel like they definitely are nice. I was pleasantly surprised with this cream stick foundation, honestly. Um, I feel like it did a pretty good. There's no powder, Filipino powder, and I, I have to put powder down on this foundation or we're gonna have just a hot mess. Like I said, if we do not set this down, we're going to have issues. It's powdered. It's still creeping into these lines like crazy, which I knew was going to happen, like I said. Let's keep going. Now we've actually got looking like a medium coverage now because we've put so much other stuff on our on our face. The other thing she sent, which I'm not going to put on my face, Intense Blend Lip and Cheek gel and this is matte apparently and in the shade piper and what i found out about this product when i went online not much <laughs> other than it was 234 pesos or four dollars and 98 cents and there were several shades and here it is this is shake me real good on the bottle it's very liquidy it's very reminiscent of um Benefits color tint, like Benetint and color tint. And it literally is like a nail polish applicator, which I'm not so sure how I feel about that. So we're gonna go in with a finger. It's definitely an oil. And I wanted to use this on my cheeks, but there are so many other products to use too that I wanna give them a fair chance. But this is a lip and cheek oil. And since I powdered, I can't put that on there. It does dry right down matte. Mm -hmm. So it's a little patchy, but that could be because I didn't put enough on. Although when I did put it on, it was very oily. So I don't know how you would, I mean, maybe, maybe you can layer it. I don't want to layer it because I don't want bright orange lips the whole time. Like this is pretty orange. I, I don't hate it. It's just, you know, with no other makeup on, it's a little funny. But it did take care of the foundation lips. So I'm going to take it. And I think that this is a pretty cool product. Now that we've got the entire, you know, the entire like base of my makeup done. We're gonna go ahead and start putting the color back onto my face. So I have a full face palette from a brand called Caroline. And this is a sister company to the Ever Belena company that made the foundation stick that we use. So this one is, the only thing I ever, I found out about it is that in pesos this is 275. Um, which translates to $5.50. The Caroline Full Face Palette 
looks like this. It's actually a very decent sized palette. Um, packaging is very like Maybelline, L'Oreal, you know, CoverGirl, that kind of feel to it. The colors are really, really pretty. Um, I haven't actually stuck my finger in or swatched any of these shades. There are one, two, three, four shimmer colors or like metallics and there are one two three four five six seven eight mattes which you know is pretty cool there are two cheek colors and a highlight she did not give me a bronzer so we're skipping the bronze and the contour today so we're gonna see how i look at the end of this but yeah so i'm really excited to kind of dive into this i'm gonna start i'm gonna do my eyes first typically i'll do my cheeks but i'm actually just gonna go right in full force and do my eyes and i will say that this is a cruelty and paraben free palette so very nice very nice there's no mirror kind of a low-key bummer i'm going to go ahead and get a transition shade in and we're going to go ahead and use this one right here for that it's quite a bit of kick up in the pan nice color pigment right away though i mean it definitely went right in there wow that was one dip in and that blended right in pretty nice well color me impressed a lot of powder this is a more powdery formula but that necessarily is not a deal breaker i know if you watch my last video where i reviewed the betty boot palette i complained a lot about the powder but the problem with that is it was powdery and you weren't getting the, the pigment payoff so it was like super annoying see the mess this shade created next i really want to dabble in this uh orange shade and this corally shade let's deepen up the crease with this coral shade right here and i don't press hard this is very light presses but you can see again you're getting a lot of pigment on the brush but it is it is it is kicking up in the pan I'm going to do this light corally pink shade that's very crumbly. I'm going to go in with this deeper reddish brown here and then maybe a little bit of this one. I'm trying to use as many shades as I can because I want to get a really clear idea of what this palette is all about. That shade didn't honestly do too much. Next, I'm going to go in with this matte cream shade, which is my jam. I'm so glad this palette has one. They're a little on the messy side, but that being said, they're really pretty. I am going to now do my actual lid space with this shimmer here. Okay, uh, lastly, I'm going to take this metallic-y uh, champagne shade and put a little bit of that in my inner corner. I did not wet this brush, so. Well, that one's a little on the chunky side. I'm gonna go ahead and use the bright orange down here on my lower lash line. That's orange. <laughs> will say that I'm noticing is that the colors tend to really blend very close to each other so like what I mean by that is when I'm blend I, I, I blend it into the skin it starts to take on a very similar shade to what I've already put on my face and um I mean there's clearly a difference like this is definitely more orangey but it like blended in to look so close to what's already on my skin when I expected it to be more of its own shade I had in with this dark metallic chocolate color. And again, this is a very, it's crumbly, but it's a very smooth feeling formula. Mm, okay, that just did not, these are not performing very well with brushes, these metallics. They do okay with the finger, 
but it's like they don't know how to behave once they're on a brush. It's kind of strange. The eye look is definitely not bad. I think the, pr the colors are super pretty. The metallics are actually kind of hard to blend with a brush. Uh, that's okay. Let's keep, let's power through. I'm going to go ahead and get some cheek color on. I'm terrified of that. So we're going to go with this one here. And the one thing I will say that I hate about palettes like this is that the blush shades, oops, I almost went the wrong one. The blush shades are so small that it's hard to get your blood. Oh, that's a powdery blush. Look at that. Look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's hard to get your blush to, uh, <laughs> get your blush brush into those little pans, but that every brand does that. I don't, I just don't understand. That's why I don't typically like eye cheek combos. I typically like an eye palette or a cheek palette Do it on your cheeks. So, okay. Well, we got some color. It blends really nice. A lot better than Betty Boop blended in my last video. I'm looking a little weird with no bronzer whatsoever. Uh, that's okay. It's okay. We're, we're, we're here for it. Okay. I'm going to stop there. Nice wash color. I'm going to go ahead in and I'm going to highlight with that same palette. Because again, I'm trying to use as much out of it as I can. And there is a great big long highlighter palette. Actually, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use the um, strobing powder from a brand called Features and Shades. And this is the Ambient Star, what they call strobing powder. And it's definitely a highlight. Like it's she bright and she fancy. So I'm definitely going to try that because um, I want to make sure I use all the products. So I'm going to go ahead in here and another powdery kind of powdery product but it's okay oh oh hello hi hello friend <laughs> so glad you came to play today oh. it's so funny these products are so powdery but they they all have pigment well we glowy now aren't we, we we's glowy and the strobing powder is I want to make sure I clean it all off before I put it back in the in the box. I'm not doing very good with getting brands. So the Caroline Face Full Face Palette is 275 pesos or five dollars and fifty cents. I don't know if I mentioned that before, which is actually a very good value for that. And the Features and Shades Strobing Powder. It has three hues and it's a crystal palette in its mineral based formula, which you could tell it's definitely a higher quality. It was 399 pesos. $7.98 US dollars. Like I would totally steal this from Ray if I could, but that wouldn't be right. But doesn't this price tag freak you out? I know it's backwards, but P399 dollars like <laughs> freaks me out. Uh, that exchange rate is crazy. Um, okay. So the next product I'm going to go ahead and use from what she has sent me is by Ever Belena, and this is the All Day Eyeliner Pen. This is a felt tip liner pen, uh, black liner, and let me see where it is here. It is um, 200 pesos or $4, and on the website it says it is supposed to be smudge proof and long lasting. This is a fatter applicator. I am going to go ahead and put this on off camera because I cannot hold a mirror and do this. I'm not talented enough with liquid liner. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and come back and show you what horrors away oh, us, honestly, because I'm really bad at liquid Success. eyeliner. Success! We survived! <laughs> I do not buy fat felt tip liner pencils. I have a horrible time with them and I do struggle. My lines are not perfect, but that's okay. I didn't even try a wing. The moon has to be in the right position and the stars have to be aligned and the planets have to be, you know, doing something special and it has to be, you know, a leap year and for me to get a, a good wing. So I just didn't even bother to try, but I did line the top and bottom. I just sort of stamped it in my lower lash line and then I did a nice thick line on the top. I will say that it dries matte, which I like. The line I did on my hand is still there. It did bleed a little on my hand, but there's a lot more like lines on the inside of my hand than on my eyelid for sure. I definitely like it. Um, it was good. I mean, other than the applicator itself, it's just not my taste. 
but it works. It does really well. If you don't mind a fat applicator like that, it's probably something you'd really like. And we're coming in the home stretch, guys. Coming in the home stretch. So we're going to go ahead and do the mascara that she sent me. And this is the Nishido Curl Mascara. And it says this seven times volume curl mascara boosts dramatic length volume curl and lift for a perfect look and this is again by the brand Nishido and where is my rating for this one um there wasn't a lot on it although the pricing was varied so on um, whatever website you happen to go on to this could be as much as 1446 pesos which was roughly $28.80 or 216 pesos for $4.32. Not really sure. It I couldn't find ounces on there um, to compare if I was looking at maybe a travel size versus a full size. They all look the same. Um, it was a little bit harder to navigate, but this is, you know, a pretty cool little mascara tube and it's not my favorite type of wand. I prefer a nylon brush wand. And it does look a little bit like a dry formula, which again, isn't horrible. And I am seeing some clumping down at the bottom of the brush, which to me usually is danger Will Robinson, like warning sign. But again, it could just be this formula. We're gonna go ahead and try it and see what happens. This is a very dry formula, like I stated before, but upon using it, it's it's really dry formula. Um, this did not give me seven times the volume, for sure. It did a lovely job of separating my lashes and defining each and every one, which you know, if you watched me before, you know that I always double up on my mascaras. I always use two different kinds of mascara, usually one with a nylon or one with a rubbery brush and then one with a nylon brush and the reason why I do this is because I feel like when you use a brush like this you get very defined separation and then when you go in with the other type of brush the nylon brush and you brush it out you get that volume and that intensity uh without the clumping so I do appreciate this for the fact that it went in and separated everything really nicely it did a really great job on my bottom lashes that's something that is hard for me to find a good mascara that separates those bottom lashes really well without leaving a lot of clump and gunk behind because they're such separated baby fine hairs down there they tend to pick up and gather all the things like all the stuff so in essence of keeping this as I would apply it I am going to go ahead and go over it with my Tarte Big Ego mascara with this has a nylon brush and I'm going to see how it does this is a much wet more wet formula so i'm going to go ahead and put this on and see what happens i know that this is not filipino makeup but again i want to show you how i would use the products normally and see what we get so that did amp them up a little bit more um i definitely have a little bit more volume now this big ego mascara isn't my favorite either but I definitely do not mind this mascara. I got some nice definition. You can actually see my eye look now with the full effect. It looks really nice. I actually like this palette a lot. I didn't, I wasn't sure <laughs> if I was going to like it, but I actually do really like it. This is the Vice Company Phenomenal Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Pony. And this one retails for 195 pesos or $3.90. And when you go onto the website, it says, Ganda is in your hands. Ganda is the Filipino word for beautiful. So now this is a modern matte. It says intense color, lasts long, transfer proof, full coverage with one swipe, creamy, paraben free, and PETA certified. So we are going to go in and try out this color. And I know we're going over this lip tint but I really don't know what else to do because he's a stain and, and she's on there, so. Beautiful shade, beautiful. This is not a one swipe wonder. <laughs> I definitely, you saw me go one, two, three, like across the bottom lip. Uh, it's beautiful. It's not feathering, it's not, um, 
it, it's nice. It's not sticky. It's drying down. I want to do a transfer test here quickly, but I'm waiting for it to finish drying down all the way because it has to dry in order to be a fair test because it is supposed to be transfer proof. But I will say for the price, wow she's nice like she's really nice i love the packaging i love the magenta um it has a nice cakey vanilla -y scent like a lot of liquid lips um i'm not i didn't notice any of that annoying peppermint oil tingle to give the lips like a plumper you know feel i think it's in there but it's so minute that it didn't it's not giving my lips that like cold rush feeling like i hate that feeling let me see here overall i'm really really happy with my look today honestly this makeup is it's a value and it's really really good and I'm so thrilled to have been able to play with all of this it went on and felt and behaved exactly like American or you know prestige brand makeup a lot of it was you know pretty close to pre prestige brand quality this palette again crumbly but um these shades are just so nice like they really are they're just they just did so good like this pink shade was a little bit of a a flop with a brush but again you know they can't all be winner like not every shade is gonna be really perfect let's go in let's go in with this gold metallic because i did not uh play with him at all in my eyes They, the metallics perform really well with your fingers, not so well with a brush. And I've never like swatched this highlight. It's a little bit powdery looking. Um, but again, it goes on so nice. These for, this formula is so powdery, but once it's on the skin, it's not. It, it's just, it's really cool. This strobing powder, I covet this. I want this so much. Um, this, oh, sugar. It's in my lunch. <laughs> Ew, I have to go wash it. Okay. This um, primer that I now need to go and wash off because I dropped it in my macaroni. Um, this primer, I want this. This stuff is so nice. Like, it's just so hydrating and luxurious and it feels good. This mascara, I actually kind of want this too. Uh, the other things I could do without, honestly, uh, you know, they, it's not that they were bad products. They just didn't suit my taste or my needs a hundred percent, but I'm really, really thrilled. I got to play with these today. Um, I, a huge thank you to Re for sharing her products with me. And, you know, we missed you this summer when you were in the Philippines for so long. Uh, but it was like, this is awesome. You got some really good stuff, girl. Like there were it was definitely a good win. Oh, we got to transfer test the lipstick. Ready? Oh, no transfer. A little tiny bit of transfer, but I really like, and ain't nobody kissing like that. So oof, the shade, girl, the shade, I'm pretty sexy. Day. And I think it is an amazing collection. I think it, that the Filipino nation has it going on as far as using their own brands and making their own makeup. They know what they're doing. If you want to see these products, like I said earlier, they are linked below. And I hope that you enjoy this video and that you will subscribe. And definitely head over to Ree's channel. I will have that linked below. She will have a video giving her personal thoughts on these products and her skin type is different her skin tone is different so you're actually going to get to see these products perform a little bit differently uh so i would definitely encourage you to go head over check out her channel and subscribe tell her i sent you and i hope you all have a beautiful day do not forget to enter into my giveaway you have a few more days left it is the 24th when i'm filming this it is going until the 31st and then we will be starting a whole nother giveaway starting on november 1st so don't miss out make sure you subscribe hit the bell go find that video i told you about in the beginning and watch it see you know how to enter and as always i hope you have an amazing day and i will see you in my next video bye